Hey students, Mrs. Rowe here, and I just wanted to take a second to show you how to ace your tests and how to take them quickly and efficiently so it doesn't take you forever to complete the lessons and the test. So I'm just going to kind of start at the beginning. You're going to click on your content to get to your lesson. The, uh, the lessons are always going to have a test attached to them unless it's later on the block and I decide that I think that your self-learning skills are uh, to the point where you don't need to be tested to learn. Um, eventually your curiosity will just take off and uh, I guarantee you you'll want to learn without having a test to force you to learn. That is how life should be. So all the classes are essentially uh, set up the same. You're going to have a, a lesson. Whoops. That's not a lesson, is it? That's an assignment. You're going to have a lesson each week, okay? And then at the bottom of the lesson is going to be your test, okay? So I call this open book testing. What I recommend that you do is you right click on your test link and open it in a new window. Okay. So this isn't going to look the same as yours probably since I'm a teacher, but get into your test, however it looks on the student end of things. And I like to just kind of minimize my window. Um, if you have the kind of setup where you can have your laptop and a monitor, you could actually just take this and slide it right over to the other window, which is really nice. I have that set up and um, it's lovely. You can get monitors at pawn shops for very inexpensive. So if that's something that you could fit into your budget, it will make online school a whole lot easier if you can open up your test in one window and your content in another. So I can fit both of these into my laptop window and um, I can still get the task done in one window, but it is really nice when you can enlarge things and have more space. So it says to open the week one lesson and follow the directions and then take the week one test, but probably a little misleading, but that is pretty much how you're gonna see things in the real world. What I want you to know in the back of your head is that unless it's locked, up so that you can't use multiple browsers as long as your test will allow you to open it and have another browser open you can essentially take open book tests that's one of the things that's really cool and it's funny people just don't think to do that for some reason because we've been trained that open book tests are wrong but if a teacher wants you to do a test and not be able to Cheat, per se and find the answers they could make it so that you're not allowed to open up any other browser okay so if that's the kind of test that it is we, they can certainly set it up like that I don't do that because I think it's um, absolutely marvelous to have the skill of being able to find the answers on your own that is independent learning my friends right so, it says to just go ahead and watch the videos. Now, the really cool thing about the way I set up my classes is that my lesson will go in the exact same order as the test. So I'm going to read the first question. It says, which is better, traditional or digital art? Oh, that's the name of this video right here. So the question is even indicating to you that this comes from the video, which is better, traditional or art. According to this video, one should say, one of the advantages of traditional art is that it is physical and tangible. Tangible means you can touch it. Well, let's find out.
months ago, I released a video discussing whether CGI was better than 2D animation, and with this week's video, I'd like to return to a familiar topic. The most common argument when discussing traditional and digital art is that traditional has the advantage of being physical and tangible, whereas... Okay, so that answer is true. One of the advantages of traditional art is that it is physical and tangible. Good. So then go to the next question and read it. According to this video, one of the, and I don't know why I spelled that wrong either, one of the advantages of digital art is the control Z or undo function, because if you make a mistake, you can undo it. Whereas digital, arguably, is a fabrication or simulation of traditional art using numerical codes and programs, not to mention it has the advantage of the control Z function. Okay, so we found the answer to that is true. Great. We go to the next question. According to this video, the Disney sketch archives are fragile due to old age, yet are historic treasures animators use today as sources of inspiration. Let's find out if that's true. Better known as the undo command. We know that locked up in the Disney ARL or Animation Research Library are collections of sketches, drawings, paintings and original cells of traditional animated movie shorts and feature length movies from the 1930s onwards and are preserved but sadly due to age are slowly falling apart. However, it is still a comfort to know that these exist. These are historic treasures and are still used as sources of inspiration and research to inspire the artists and animators of films today. So I think that gave us the answer. True. So you get the idea. Um, and if you just continue to work your way down, um, my tests are really designed more as a learning tool. I want you to engage with the work and to also put that information into your long-term memory as well so that you can dig into the, the archives of your memory when you do your assignment and pull some of that stuff that you learned out of there, okay? So um, you can do your test that way, I recommend it. Um, or if you are the kind of person that would rather just sit down and watch those videos and then go back and see what you can remember and do the test from memory, you can do that too. The reason why is because if you don't get a perfect score, you can just go back and take it again because you have multiple attempts at taking the test. So knock yourself out, do it any way you want, but I just thought that I would give you this tool um, you could probably apply it in many of your other classes. So, good luck. Ciao.